Hey YouTube, just a little br breakdown of my 71 Mach 1. Okay, we could uh, definitely start off with the engine. Uh, it's a 351 Cleveland, board 30 over, so 357 Cleveland. Um, <clears throat> uh, stock compression. Uh, I do have a uh, Power Master uh, starter and it's Power Master alternator. It's got a uh, hooker headers, 6915s. Uh, it's, it's fueled by a Elder Brock Performer 750. Uh, it's got an MSD 6AL2 ignition. Uh, it has two-step, and I have an Opt Optima battery. Uh, it does have a, uh, a Comp Cams 274H cam. Uh, runs great, drives great. It's a uh, very, it's very uh, drivable on the street. Um, and aluminum radiator and dual electric fans. Um, I could sit in traffic. Uh, literally runs at 160 160 degrees. Uh, all day long sitting in traffic on a hot summer day. The interior is pretty stock, uh, pretty basic. I redid the door panels. The front seats are actually from a 69 through 70, uh, 69 and 70 uh, Mustang. <clears throat> if you look, if you remember the 71 Mustang seats, they're really slim and narrow. Uh, I had these reupholstered in the Mach 1, in the Mach 1 upholstery. Uh, it does match the the rear seats perfectly. Um, the door when I first got the car, it did come with the deluxe door panels. Uh, I wasn't a fan of those, so I did opt for the uh, for the regular door panel uh, regular door panels converted everything I did uh, paint all the hardware black to get rid of the chrome uh, I did go with a different different steering wheel uh, I, I just got this off of CJ pony parts uh, I'm not even sure what I paid for it to be honest with you um, I did convert the gauges that it does have uh, the Mach ones did come with a triple gauge cluster in the center I did change them out to a Bosch style uh, mechanical gauge, uh, just cheap and easy. Uh, when, if I do go fuel injection on this, I'll probably change those out to the Holly style or even uh, some, integrate some kind of Holly screen. Um, it, is a four, it does have a sport four speed in it. It's a four speed to top loader. Um, brand, new, brand new rebuilt transmission. Uh, it does have a Hearst competition uh, shifter. Uh, it's got a, uh, a spec stage two clutch. It is it is still using utilizing the uh, equalizer bar, the Z bar, the equalizer bar that came factory in 1971. This is a factory automatic car, so somebody previously performed a conversion. Uh, I just rebuilt all the parts, made everything work perfectly. Uh, the reason why I didn't go with a hydraulic clutch versus the Z-Bar is because if I'm ever broken down somewhere, I could pretty much fix the Z-Bar with a coat hanger. With a hydraulic clutch, you're, you're on the side of the road, not, you're not going anywhere. Um, if you've ever driven a 71 through 73 Mustang uh, with a sports roof like this, you will notice that you cannot see out the back window. Uh, especially with the louvers on. Uh, the guy I got the car from, he, he had the louvers and he never put them on. He said I couldn't see out the rear window. 
but I, you'd rather be cool than be comfortable. So what I did is I actually installed a backup camera and uh, I put, I don't have a screen or anything. I replay, I have the backup camera in, in the mirror itself. So I could, I hit a button, it turns the backup camera on and I could, I could see behind me as I'm driving with no, with no glare. I, I, the reason why I put it on a button is because at night I don't want it flashing in my face, shining in my face. This car is also equipped with 73 convertible rear windows. Uh, in 1973, the convertible rear windows were electric rear windows. So I did convert the, the rear windows to a electric rear windows. So now when you, when you roll the front window down, you could also roll the back window down. There's no pillar there. It uh, makes for a very clean look. That's it for this episode. Um, I'll have more videos to come. I'm probably going to take it to a weigh station. I'm really interested to see how much this big, this big fat car weighs. Um, so I'll let everybody know what, what it comes in at. Uh, I'll make a video of that. Please like, please subscribe. Uh, I hope to have way more content in the future. Uh, thanks for watching.